Hi guys, Salman is here. Welcome to Signals View Weekly Analysis. Uh, we start with the dollar index. Uh, dollar index, we're just going to short it, okay? There is no buy for the dollar index. The most important news to watch out is the inflation, the CPI coming in the 15th. This is very important. So the inflation right now in the United States is 3.5. Uh, possibly want to see it coming down to 3.2 and would be great if it's 3.1 okay if it stays at 3.5 that's really bad so the dollar index will arise uh, this is not expected what's expected is to see the inflation coming down to around 3.2 would be really nice in this case what's going to happen the dollar index is going to sink and the stocks are going to rise so we are going to do our forecast based on the inflation numbers are going to get good okay this is a selling area the dollar index around 106 107 is just selling don't think about buying the dollar index around 106 107 okay so it did make a high around 105.75 which is this one okay so what's possibly could happen we go back up to 1550 maximum and just start you know coming down all the way to 1470 then possibly coming back to this this level which around 1456 and if we break below this one then we're going to 1350 ultimately in the dollar index we are heading to the 101 level okay so our full target all the way down to 1313 right here okay and from this level here we will have completed a full a b c d pattern okay so right here we would have completed an a b c d pattern so this is how it looks like okay guys like this that's an a b b c and c d from here we should technically have a correction going back up let's take it step by step but that's a general formation okay the euro dollar okay so if the dollar index we expect the dollar index to actually fall then the euro should rise okay this is our i signal system we have an english and arabic version if you guys want to subscribe to the system uh, please contact our customer service it's great it gives you stop loss and take profit and everything also if you want to join our uh, signals group we have a signals group we're just gonna leave the link below also if you want to follow copy trade and stuff like that i'm gonna leave all the links for you guys below okay so right here what's gonna happen is we see this is a big move here we call this an ab we come to form the c point from here we had this target it almost got there okay it's coming back down a little bit so we want to see it coming back to 10 around 750 and maximum 730 and from here we're gonna buy it again okay we're gonna buy it again watch out this is based on good inflation numbers good inflation numbers okay guys if you look at the bound we had a rate a news the rates were fixed okay we are in the hour one hour time frame okay so we're looking at the cable right now we want to take only a long position so what's going to happen here okay guys for the cable we want to only take a, a buy position a long position so what's happening here we have a big mo move right here we have this correction and they had a fixed a rate uh, for the interest rate in the uk so it did well, the price did drop a little bit at the beginning then it did rise now it's coming back down so basically you want to come down here to 1.2470 1.24 uh, 60 in this area then we go along again with it all the way to 1.2650 okay so this is the plan for the bound right now okay so for the australian dollar as you can see right here okay guys so for the australian basically what you want to say you want to wait for this small a b c d to finish right here see this move here to move like this finish here around 16560 okay if you can see good price action to the upside we can go with it to go above this high so this is the next move to go for in the australian dollar usd cad we're going we're going to only sell it we have been selling this top there was a really nice head and shoulder right here for the usd cad we're only going to sell it guys we have been selling from this top there was a head and shoulder here it was very clear we sell all this area it did come all the way down to 1.3620 usd cad is going to 1.3480 okay so we still have about two more hundred pips to fall so take it easy okay we sell if it tries a little bit here again like to 1.37 we sell it again all the way to 1.3480 but we're gonna take it step by step like new zealand uh, is the same scenario okay just like australian okay so you want to wait for a little bit drop probably below this low right here like this then you go long above above this okay so this is the way to go with the new zealand gold watch out gold is going to continue rising there was uh, a corrective move right here in the gold okay you can see it, it did make a really high significant high around 14 30 and it just has been going in this channel like this and that this and that okay last week it did break what should happen is come back to test to this one around 
2330, okay? Then with the good inflation number, it should rise to 2430 again, uh, okay? With some time, it's just not gonna happen overnight, but with some time. But I don't recommend taking a buy position from here. The buy was around 2308, and we shared this in our uh, Telegram group, okay? We take the position around 2308, that was really good. Okay, so don't buy gold now. Wait if it drops, if it drops to test this channel, okay, around 2330. Okay, and if you want to sell it, you can just sell scalping only, okay, with a stop loss. Then you can take it from 2330 with price action all the way up to 2430 if the inflation numbers are good. Surprising, okay, I'm hoping so. Oil has been falling. Watch out, oil. If you look at the bigger picture, here we go. That's oil, okay, guys. Can has gone up like this and coming down, was up, down, up and down, up. It failed to break above almost the 90. Then we're coming all the way down here to 77, which is below 80. It did break above the, it did make a retest to the 80 level. It didn't break, okay, and then just coming down. So some believe this will continue down the next huge support at 71. So watch out, oil can continue to fall. The best uh, area to buy the oil will be between 71 to 73 here and go up with it. If you want to take a sell position in the oil, make sure you take it with a stop loss, okay? Just in case if it will make a double bottom here, because if the inflation numbers are good, oil can actually fly to the upside. So watch out from this. If the inflation numbers are good, there is a big chance oil will fly up. Dow Jones has been in a rally like crazy, okay? After this war, uh, so there was a really big rally from the 37. It did make a high around 40,000. It did drop around 3K point, points. Okay, here, uh, first move, then we had uh, just a double uh, correction here, okay? Then it's just in a rally. This is not a good place to buy it, actually. So if it does drop around, you know, to almost 500 points or something to retest to this level, and we get good inflation number at rally, you can go with it. It's not advisable to sell the indexes, especially the Dow. The Dow is going to 45k. So from now on, I just want you to know that Dow Jones is going to 45k. Okay. Nasdaq is the same scenario. Okay. If you look at the bigger picture right here, Nasdaq is just heading to 1940. Okay. 19,400. 19,400. So if you can get a small correction in the Nasdaq here, like 100 points or something, then you can go up with it to 1840, 1800. If the inflation numbers are really, really good, this thing is just gonna go like crazy because NASDAQ is very sensitive to a low interest rate. So if the inflation numbers are really good, the most index is just gonna fly is NASDAQ, more than SBX, more than the Dow and so on, okay guys? The SBX is just the same thing right here. It's just going like crazy. You can see this correction was finished here. You can see the higher lows. That was a very good indication. We're just gonna continue to the upside. You can see right here, this did break above here. So you have a, like kind of a new uptrend. If the inflation numbers are good, this is just gonna continue. Uh, it would be great if you can see just a small correction to the upside guys here like this, okay, to test this trend line or test this low. Okay, and from here we get the inflation number just shooting like crazy like to the upside. So that was it. I'm gonna leave the links for you guys if you want to join our community. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.